Hello, my name is Mark McMillan, eight-year NFL vet, founder of Grill & McMillan. Today, we'll be cooking two eight-ounce fillets along with one 29-ounce porterhouse. Today, we have two eight-ounce fillets and we have one porterhouse from my business partners in Chicago. Happy to meet you. Today, we're just gonna use a little salt, a little salt, a little simple salt, and a little coarse black pepper on your steaks. A lot of people wanna use you know, different kinds of seasons and all that, but for a good quality steak, you really don't need that. All you need is a little salt and pepper. So we're just gonna just season these up here. Real liberal. Nice little salt on those fillets. Mm, mm, mm. They gonna be juicy, baby. Just salt them up real good. Depends on how you like it. But you know, for a fillet, you know, it doesn't have a real lot of flat fat in it. So you wanna make sure that you put a little bit of good seasoning on there. So you wanna get a good little char at the end too. So. You know, this is just the beginning, baby. We just put a little light, little coarse black pepper over here. We're gonna season up both sides as well. So, you know, you won't be eating no dry meat. So, I love the grill, man. Can't you tell? I'm excited for this, man. This is my opportunity to, you know, share my grilling experiences after playing football for all those years. Now I get a chance to cook for everybody. Grill and McMillan, stay tuned. Now we're going to the process that everybody's been waiting for. The meat is about to hit the grill. Stay tuned, baby. Listen to the sizzle. We got my eight ounce filet right here. Oh, man. Come on with it, baby. Woo-wee. Now we're just gonna let those ste steaks do as do. It's, the grill is probably about 400 to 450. That's the temperature you want to have your grill at. So you can just try to just lock in those juices and get that nice little sear on them. We're gonna grill these for about six to seven minutes on each side. We'll flip them over. And after that, you're gonna have nice fillets, baby, and that nice porterhouse. Grill and McMillan, stay tuned. All right, now we're at the six minute mark. Like I said, we're gonna Flip these steaks, as you can see, they looking real nice. Woo! Gonna flip this one right here. You probably see some nice little grill marks on him. Oh, look at there. That's what you want to see right there. Want to see them nice little grill marks right there, baby. Look at the porterhouse. Porterhouse gonna take a little longer, but oh my goodness, would you look at that? <laughs> so we'll just give these probably another six minutes on this side. Uh, as you can see, I got my nice little grill marks. I put my bacon fat on there that gives it that nice crust. My porterhouse is looking pretty good. Uh, about six to seven more minutes. Like I said, we'll be putting these on the cutting board, let them rest for about four to five minutes to lock in that juice. Put a little broccolini on the grill. Man, we're gonna have dinner backyard. Grill and McMillan. All right, as you can see, they are juicy, baby. We got that nice porterhouse. I'm happy to meet you. We got these nice little fillets. Look at the grill marks on them, baby. Look at the grill marks on them. Ooh, wait. That looks good. So they've been on for about a good 12 to 13 minutes. We're gonna take them off here and we're gonna put them on the cutting board. We're gonna let them rest for about a good five to six minutes to make sure we lock in those juices. That's the key component right now. You wanna be able to lock in those juices. You don't wanna cut into your steak right after you get it off the grill. So stay tuned. We're gonna slice them up and you're gonna see the inside. It's gonna be medium rare, baby. Drilling McMillan. As you can see, we are now done grilling these nice little eight ounce fillets. Got a nice little porterhouse that you can also grill in your home. Go to grillandmcmillan.com. Make sure you use the code MAC29 at the end of checkout. You can get a nice little discount. So we're just gonna let these rest for about four or five minutes. As you can see, I added my own little garlic, herb, and chives butter on top. As you can see, you can just probably see it just dripping off the top of them. Now I just took some butter, uh, some chives, a little garlic, and some shallots, and I just chopped them all up, added it to the butter, whipped it a little bit, let it sit overnight in the refrigerator to get hard, and there you have it. Grilling McMillan steaks and that garlic compound butter. All right, now we've let these rest for about a good six minutes. As you can see, the juices is locked in now. The butter is nice and juicy and dripping off the side, so we're just gonna cut into them right now. Oh, oh, look at there, right there, baby. Look at the juices coming out of them. Mm. Look at the pink inside. 
How you like it? Medium, medium rare. We hit it on the spot. Griller McMillan. Now we got the broccolini that we just steamed for about a good four and five minutes. I added that special garlic butter in there as well. Give it a nice little seasoning. Gotta have some greenery right there. Ooh wee come on man, you would think I've been doing this all my life. Life at the football, man. Come on, this is how we do, baby. Grilla McMillan. So good, I got flies. Flies wanted some of that. They, they want a little piece of that. They want some of that beef, baby. There you have it, the final product. We got some two eight ounce fillets. We got a porterhouse. We even got some broccolini. Appreciate my man Gabriel for coming out here, man, and hanging out with me for about a good hour, hour and a half. But the good thing about that, Gabe, you get to enjoy some nice, juicy steaks. Shout out to my guys, Mr. Rayford as well, with Nevada Grove for helping you along with this product. So stay tuned, man. We got more to come. Grilla McMillan.